This is the gallery. We used to use this, and we'll use it again for special art ex exhibitions. It's not in use for that right now. But this area off of the crypt was, at one point, floor to ceiling full of bones from dead people. This was, until the 1930s, this was stacked full of bones. Uh, part of the reason why, you go see over here, come with me on this tour. Uh, we don't have it now, but we were St. Martin in the Fields, you know, and we are St. Martin in the Fields now, but we don't really have any fields, but we had uh, several cemeteries. We had a burial ground across the street, uh, an area that is now sort of underneath the, the, the National Portrait Gallery, and we had more in our churchyard, which is out back where our courtyard cafe, and it had a few things out on Duncan Street. We had at, so, at various points, several thousand people buried. Uh, what we have here is many of the more ornate and interesting memorials uh, from our old cemeteries. Now, over the years, those cemeteries were, were built over, dug up, and the bones were brought here into the crypt at St. Martin the Fields until the last of them were taken out in the, uh, in the 1930s, and this area was more opened up for other useful things. Uh, I should also say that this area was also used as a bomb shelter during the Second World War. Uh, at one point we had as many as 500 people taking refuge during air raids during the London Blitz. And if you come over here, Chris, you can look down here, we have an example of many, many of these different, uh, these different grave markers that were salvaged from the, uh, from the burial ground. Now I'm going to walk, while you're walking around, I'm going to walk around the other way. I'm going to meet you at the end. Yeah, so this chap in the corner, uh, I'm not sure how we ended up with this. This is not actually from our, our burial ground, this guy. Uh, but this guy, Henry Croft, he was the very first pearly king of London. And we can still, to this day, have the pearly kings and the pearly queens uh, for their, annuals, uh, their annual harvest festival. Uh, and he died in January 1930. So, um, I'm not sure the exact connection by which we ended up with his, his burial marker, but there we have it. And as you can see, we have numerous other people who are buried. And that is the St. Martin's, this is really what's left of the burial grounds of St. Martin's.